Do you know someone who has had or may need to have a blood transfusion? Are you going to have an operation soon? Maybe you have recently had an operation and received a transfusion. There are many reasons why people might need a blood transfusion and this video explains all you need to know. Blood carries cells and vital proteins around the body. Red blood cells contain haemoglobin which carries oxygen. White blood cells fight infection. Platelets are fragments of cells and work together with clotting factors to help blood clots form at the site of an injury. Plasma is a liquid that holds all these cells together in suspension. A blood transfusion involves taking blood from one person, the donor, and giving it to someone else. This is sometimes used to treat anemia. Anemia can occur if the body is not making red cells properly or if red cells are lost through bleeding. The blood provided by donors can be separated into different components. Red cells, plasma, white cells and platelets. It is common for people to lose blood during an operation. If you are having an operation, you should be tested for anemia first. If you are anemic, you may be able to have treatment with iron or other medication to reduce your chances of needing a transfusion during or after your surgery. You should ask your doctor if you need to be tested for anemia. Iron deficiency is the most common cause of anemia and can usually be treated with iron tablets. Having a diet rich in iron containing foods such as lean red meat, oily fish, eggs, pulses and breakfast cereals can help prevent iron deficiency. More information is available in the NHS Blood and Transplant leaflet Iron in the Diet which is available online and from your doctor or nurse. If your anemia cannot be treated with medication you may need a red cell transfusion. This is a very simple procedure. In the UK, blood transfusion is very safe. Blood is usually given through a tiny tube into a vein. It may take up to three hours to give each bag of blood, but a transfusion can be given more quickly if needed. Platelets, like red cells, are carried in the blood. They help the blood to clot. A low platelet count can be caused either by a decreased production of platelets in the bone marrow or where the life of the platelets is reduced, for example, when a patient experiences significant blood loss. Like red cells, platelets are donated by blood donors. When a transfusion of platelets is given, it is much quicker, usually taking less than half an hour. Plasma is the liquid that carries blood cells around the body. It contains clotting factors as well as other proteins, salts and hormones. Clotting factors, together with platelets, enable blood to clot when needed. Plasma is separated from regular blood donations and frozen. It is thawed again before it is transfused. Doctors and nurses often refer to plasma as FFP, which stands for Fresh Frozen Plasma. Plasma is usually used to replace low levels of clotting factors. This can occur in patients with liver disease or in some inherited bleeding disorders. Plasma may also be required for patients who have lost a lot of blood or are having major surgery.
Most people do not feel anything whilst receiving a blood transfusion. The risk that a blood transfusion will cause severe harm or even death is very low. You will be observed before, during and afterwards. If you feel unwell, you should inform your nurse immediately. Occasionally, people may develop a fever, chills or a rash during their transfusion. These symptoms are usually mild and are easily treated with paracetamol or antihistamines or by slowing or stopping the transfusion. Severe reactions to blood are extremely rare. If they do occur, staff are trained to recognise them and treat them. In the unlikely event that you feel unwell once you have gone home following your transfusion, you should call your doctor or go to your local emergency department. Many people worry about getting an infection from a blood transfusion, but the chance of getting an infection is very small. All blood donors are unpaid volunteers and the risk of an infected unit entering the UK blood supply continues to decrease. Being infected with hepatitis B, hepatitis C or HIV carries a risk of fewer than one in a million. There is a slightly higher chance of getting a bacterial infection from platelet transfusions than other types of transfusion. The risk is reduced by careful procedures performed during the collection and storage. If you feel unwell during your transfusion, you should let your nurse know straight away. The most important way to make your transfusion safe is to ensure that you're getting the right blood. You can help your nurse or doctor by clearly stating your name and date of birth when asked to do so. This can get very frustrating, especially if you are receiving many different treatments and are repeatedly being asked your name even to people who know you well. However, this is the most effective way to make sure you are getting the correct treatment. If you have received a blood transfusion, you can no longer donate blood. Everyone who goes to donate blood is asked whether they have previously had a transfusion. Not everyone who is anemic or has low platelets or clotting factor levels need to have a transfusion. Ask your doctor or nurse if there are any alternative treatments you can have. Iron replacement can treat some causes of anemia. Other alternatives may include recycling your own blood during surgery, known as cell salvage. If you have a temporary cause of anemia and feel otherwise well, you may be able to manage without a transfusion until your blood recovers. Talk more to your doctor about this. Remember, if you are having an operation, ask your doctor or nurse if you need to be tested for anemia. If you are told you need a transfusion, ask your doctor or nurse what alternatives are available for you. If you have had a blood transfusion, you can no longer donate blood. Blood transfusion is very safe thanks to volunteers giving their blood all over the UK every week.